In this video, I will show you an AC circuit example. I will show you the example of conservation of complex AC power. For the circuit shown, find the complex power absorbed by the 1 ohm resistor minus J10 ohm capacitor 5 plus J10 ohm impedance. See, this is our circuit. This is the 1 ohm resistor. This is the capacitor with capacity preactance minus J10 ohm and this is the branch with impedance of 5 plus J10. We have to calculate the complex power absorbed by all these branches and we have to calculate the power supplied by the source. Show that the sum of the complex powers of A, B, C is equal to the complex power of the source. This indicates that we have to show the conservation of AC power in the circuit. Conservation of AC power states that the power supplied by the source will be equal to the complex power delivered to the loads okay so here we have to show that the complex power supplied by the source will be equal to the complex power absorbed or the complex power delivered to the loads that means in this 1 ohm this minus j10 ohm and this 5 plus j10 ohm impedances okay so to calculate complex power we use this formula complex power is a complex quantity which is equal to is equal to we take the rms value of voltage and multiply that with complex conjugate of rms value of current of the source or the current of that branch so here we will also use this formula in the circuit this 120 volt phase angle zero degree this is rms voltage so all the value of voltages in the circuit and the currents will be RMS quantity in the circuit we have this RMS voltage that means we are given with VS RMS to calculate the complex power supplied by the source we have to take the conjugate of the RMS current that will be supplied by the source. So let's say I will indicate that current with IS RMS. This will be a phasor quantity, so I will put vector sign here. Okay. Now see, let's say this branch has an impedance of Z1. To calculate the complex power in this branch, we have to know the value of current I1 RMS here. We have to know the value of voltage across this Z1. Let's say I will denote that with V1 RMS. All the quantities will be complex quantities. So I will put vector sign. Let's say in this branch, the impedance is Z2. To calculate complex power, we have to know the value of RMS voltage across this branch. Let's say I will denote that with V2 RMS. And the current. I will denote that with I2 RMS. I will put vector sign here. See, this branch and this branch are connected in parallel. Let's say this impedance is Z3. The voltage across this impedance will be, let's say, V3 RMS. As they are in parallel, this will be equal to V2 RMS. Let's say the current that will be flowing through this branch, I will denote that with I3 RMS. I have to use all these quantities to calculate the complex power in this, this and these impedances and the source. As we have to calculate the RMS value of voltages and RMS value of currents, let's say I will use nodal analysis to calculate those voltages and currents in the circuit. See in this branch, the impedance is Z1, here Z1 will be equal to 1 ohm. In this branch, the impedance is Z2. The impedance Z2 will be equal to 5 plus J10 ohm. And in this branch, the impedance is Z3. Z3 will be equal to minus J10 ohm. Now see, for the time being, let's say at this node, this is node A and at this node, the node voltage is VA. Now see, I can apply node voltage equation or I can apply Kishop's current law 
in phasor form at node A. In that case, all the currents will be outgoing because all the currents are unknown currents. Therefore, our KCL equation will give us VA minus 120 over this branch impedance is Z1 plus VA over Z2 plus VA over Z3 equal to 0. Now see, if I separate out the coefficients, I will get 1 over Z1 plus 1 over Z2 plus 1 over Z3 VA equal to 120. If I put the value of Z1, Z2 and Z3 here, I will get eventually VA equal to 115.36 with phase angle minus 1.10 degree volt. See, in this circuit, this supply voltage is RMS voltage. So, this VA will be also RMS voltage. Therefore, all the voltages and currents I will be calculating from this node voltage or from the source voltage will be RMS voltages and RMS currents. So at this node, we have node voltage of 115.36 phase angle minus 1.10 degree volt. Now, if I go back my previous circuit, I indicated the voltages and currents in the branches like this. This branch had its node voltage equal to V2 RMS which I calculated equal to V3 RMS which is equal to 115.36 phase angle minus 1.10 degree volt. So we know the value of V2 RMS here. We know the value of V3 RMS here. Okay, now see we can calculate I2 RMS. Here I2 RMS will be phasor quantity that will be V2 RMS over Z2 this is the V2 RMS 115.36 phase angle minus 1.10 degree volt over 5 plus J10 this will be equal to 10.32 with phase angle minus 64.54 degree now see what will be I3 RMS, I3 RMS will also be equal to V3 RMS over Z3, here V3 RMS is this value and Z3 is equal to minus Z10. So if I put this I will get I3 equal to 11.54 with phase angle 88.9 degree now see here we know i2 rms so conjugate of i2 rms will be i2 rms prime that will be equal to 10.32 i just have to flip the sign 64.54 degree ampere and conjugate of I3 RMS I3 RMS will be equal to 11.54 magnitude will be same I just have to flip the sign minus 88.9 degree so the power delivered to this branch or this impedance and this impedance let's say I will denote that with S2 will be equal to V2 RMS into I2 RMS prime if I take this value multiply that with this I will get S2 is equal to 532 plus J 
this will be 532.6 plus j 1065 volt ampere we know i3 prime rms and v3 rms so s3 complex power delivered to the branch 3 will be equal to v3 rms into i3 prime rms if i put this value and multiply that with this value I will get S3 equal to 0 minus J 1331.7 volt ampere. Now see we have 115.36 phase angle minus 1.10 degree volt here and 120 volt phase angle 0 degree volt here. So I can say this node voltage will be greater than this node voltage. So the voltage across this 1 ohm will be V1 RMS and we can calculate V1 RMS V1 RMS equal to 120 degree phase angle 0 degree minus 115.36 phase angle minus 1.10 degree which will be equal to 5 point one six with phase angle twenty five point four six degree volt so this is v1 rms now see what will be i1 rms i1 rms is equal to v1 rms over z1 here z1 is equal to 1 so i1 rms will have the same value 5.16 phase angle 25.46 degree ampere now see i1 rms is the current that is flowing through this z1 and in this branch we have the source and this z1 is connected in series so is rms will be same as i1 rms so i can write it like this is rms now see the conjugate of is rms or i1 rms will be equal to 5.16 phase angle minus 25.46 degree ampere now see the complex power delivered to z1 s1 will be equal to v1 rms into i1 rms prime here v1 is equal to 5.16 phase angle 25.46 and i1 rms prime is equal to 5.16 phase angle minus 25.46 this will be equal to 26.63 plus j0 volt ampere and the power delivered by the source s s will be equal to v s rms into i s rms prime here v s rms is equal to Hundred twenty IS RMS hello five point one six phase angle minus twenty five point four six degree. Now see this will be equal to one five five nine minus J two two. 6.2 volt ampere now see the complex power delivered to loads will be equal to 
एस वन प्लस एस टू प्लस एस थ्री हियर एस वन इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री प्लस जे जीरो एस टू इज इक्वल टू फाइव थर्टी टू पॉइंट सिक्स प्लस जे वन जीरो सिक्स फाइव प्लस एस थ्री इज इक्वल टू जीरो माइनस जे वन थ्री थ्री वन पॉइंट सेवन If I add all of them up, this will be nearly equal to five five nine minus j two two six point two. Now see, this is the complex power delivered to the load, and this is the complex power supplied by the source. So I can say that the power supplied by the source. or the complex power of the source is exactly equal to the to the sum of the complex powers delivered to the load this is also known as conservation of complex power or conservation of ac power okay that's it thank you